welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we're doing a video that is a culmination of some of our previous videos. We did the Lady Fingers and the uh, cold brew coffee and this week we are putting it all together and making tiramisu. So I was actually a little surprised by how easy it was to make tiramisu at home, but uh, Chef Caleb is going to show us all right now. So let's get going with our ingredients. So here's our lady fingers from a previous uh, video. Some sugar. Our cold brew coffee, also from a previous video. Uh, some coffee liqueur. We are using some mascarpone cheese. Some eggs actually just the egg yolks, some heavy cream or whipping cream, and some cocoa just for dusting on the top at the end. We're using some Dutch process. So we're gonna start by separating our eggs. We're just gonna be using the yolks for this one. So we're gonna take our egg yolks uh, and we're gonna be making a sabayon, which is a traditional sauce that is actually made by whipping while cooking them. So a dash of salt, uh, we're gonna add the sugar and we're just gonna make sure it's all well combined. Now I did say cooking, and this is going to go directly onto some gentle heat in the form of a double boiler. So we've got some uh, water just before boiling here, and we're going to whip these eggs and sugar together on top of that until they are really light and fluffy and partially, uh, mostly cooked actually. And you'll see they'll go from this very rich yellow color to a very, very pale yellow uh, color right about now. And that has incorporated a lot of air into them. So we're going to turn off our double boiler. And you can see all of that nice fluffy egg yolk uh, and it's really, really uh, thick and airy and also really, really rich and uh, nice and thick. So we're actually going to keep stirring that until it comes back down to about room temperature because we're now going to mix in the mascarpone cheese and we want to make sure that it is uh, not too hot for the, for the cheese. We want to make sure that it's going to be the right temperature. If you add the cheese and, it's, uh, and the sauce is too hot or the cheese is too cold, uh, you'll get a grainy texture or you'll get everything separating uh, inappropriately. So we want to make sure that these are as close to the same temperature and that is room temperature as you can. So in goes our cheese and we just want to mix that in. So this is all of the mascarpone cheese. We just want to mix that in until it's well combined and nice and smooth. So we're going to give that a good stir. You want to make sure that you're not going to over stir this. You don't want to uh, knock all of the air out of your, uh, your, your beautiful fluffy uh, egg yolks. But you do want to make sure that it's good and smooth and there's no big lumps of cheese in there. So that's just fine. It doesn't take very long and it uh, combines very, very easily. It helps if it's at room temperature. Now, this bowl is fresh out of the freezer and we're going to use it to whip our whipping cream. So this is our 35%, our heavy cream. We're going to add some sugar and the cream into our nice cold mixing bowl. And I promise that icy cold uh, mixing bowl will make the stage easier. Now of course you can also do this with a stick blender or a hand mixer if you'd prefer. Uh, but do make sure that you're not over mixing. You, you want to make sure that you're not overdoing it because if you over mix your whipping cream, uh, it gets a little grainy, uh, it gets that kind of buttery texture, and you don't want that. You want this to just be just barely stiff peaks, which is where we're going to stop right here. And you can see that is holding its shape really nicely. It's not getting that grainy texture. It's just perfect. That's exactly where you want it. And then we're going to add that uh, beautiful cheesy uh, sabayon sauce right into that whipping cream or I should say right into the whipped cream. Uh, now you do want to make sure that you're not mixing this too vigorously because there's a lot of air, uh, both in the whipping cream and in the sabayon, and you don't want to knock that out. You want everything to remain nice and light and fluffy. So you, we're just going to very gently fold these two together. So a little stir, and then we're going to just sort of sift it through the whisk uh, pretty gently. And you can see there's still some so, some sort of streaks of the of the whipping cream uh, and the sabayol, which is just fine. You just want to make sure that there's no large uh, lumps of whipping cream or uh, any lumps of cheese remaining or anything in there. You want this to be very very smooth and um, uh, really nice and richly uh, uh, mixed together. 
And that's as far as we're going to take that. Uh, as I said, if there's still some, some streaks of paler uh, and streaks of darker, that's just fine. So we're going to take our coffee liqueur. We're using Kahlua for this, but you can use whatever your favorite coffee liqueur is. And of course, if you don't uh, like alcohol at all, the uh, liqueur is absolutely optional for this. You can just use the uh, cold brew coffee. Espresso is a little more uh, traditional for this, but uh, we wanted to use this uh, cold brew coffee, which we made extra strong specifically for this task. And once those are mixed together, we are ready to start assembling. So uh, we are going to start with a layer of our lady fingers. And you remember in that video, we uh, were uh, laughing a little bit about how, <laughs> how not pretty they were, uh, but we didn't really mind because we knew that they were being used for this purpose. So we are going to give them a good brushing with that coffee liqueur and you want to get them pretty well soaked. Now this will change the texture of the outside. They're going to lose some of that crispness on the outside, but they're still going to have that lovely fluffy sort of sponge cakey inside and uh, that is going to also be filled with coffee flavor. So uh, you don't be afraid to get them pretty well doused in that uh, in that coffee mixture. Now if you don't like coffee, uh, you can also use other things. You can use uh, other alcohol for this. We did one of these without any of the coffee. We used a mixture of rum and Grand Marnier and it came out really delicious. So, so our next step is to put a layer of the filling and you want to make sure you get that nice and smooth and you want to get it into all of the corners. You want to make sure there's no air bubbles or anything. And then another layer of your lady fingers and another good dousing with your coffee mixture. So we are just going to make sure that everything is well coated with that coffee once again. A good soaking on those lady fingers. And that's just about perfect. And then another layer of our uh, sabayon. Now we're using this nice deep corningware dish, so we have plenty of room for another layer. One more layer of those nice uh, crispy ladyfinger biscuits, and don't be afraid to break them up a little bit if they're not fitting properly, so you can just sort of uh, fit them in where you want to. That's just fine as well. So go ahead and break them up if you need to. Once again, a good soaking with that coffee mixture, and then one last layer of, the, of our filling on top. And that'll take us right to the top of this container, right to the top of this casserole dish. Now you do want to try and get that as nice and smooth on top as possible. So we're just going to spread that out and get it nice and smooth. You can see it's a little bit loose right now, but don't worry, this will set in the fridge. Um, we are going to get that nice and smooth on top and we're going to cover it. We don't want the top to dry out or anything, so we're going to cover that with plastic wrap and you want to get that uh, with as much contact on your filling as possible. So try to get as much air out as you can. And don't worry about it sticking when this comes out of the fridge tomorrow. The uh, the cheesy whipped cream sabayon will have set really, really well and it's not going to stick to your uh, to your plastic wrap. So that goes into the fridge. We're going to let that sit overnight. And then you can see a gentle peel and it comes off very, very cleanly. And you see that nice smooth top and we are going to take our cocoa just before serving and uh, just sift it on top with a nice good thick layer of the cocoa which adds this other nice interesting flavor so you have the coffee, you have the uh, nice spongy texture of the uh, of the lady fingers, you have that incredibly rich and creamy, but also very fluffy sabayon, and then you have that layer of cocoa on top. Don't be afraid to be generous. So there you go. That's uh, that's done, and uh, now we're just going to cut into it. This is uh, this is finished, and we're going to it's ready to eat. So we're going to cut a nice big slice out of there. And you can see how nicely it has set. It's come away from the uh, side of the casserole really easily. Now we didn't quite cut all the way down to the bottom, so we missed a couple of those little uh, pieces of, uh, of ladyfinger. 
and you can see those beautiful layers in there, the layers of lady fingers mixed with that uh, incredibly rich filling. Uh, really light and fluffy, absolutely delicious. And uh, and if you love coffee, this is perfect for you. This is it's a really amazing flavor. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Really great to impress at a party. Bring out your own homemade tiramisu. Uh, way easier than I thought it was going to be when we uh, when we jumped into this. And uh, it's. Uh, uh, something we hope you'll try. So if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food. <laughs>